Yo, what's up guys? My name is John. So before I start my video and my topic, um, I'm very very sorry that the uh, video quality is not good and at the same time the audio. Um, I'm currently I'm using my um, Android smartphone to record my video. So I'm again, I'm very very sorry. But hopefully, um, if I'll get a new camcorder soon, then I'll could, I can provide you with a good quality video. Alright, so um, also get a cup of coffee or anything that you could eat. Uh, I think that this topic could um, end up um, in a lo um, longer length. Okay, so here we go. So the topic for today is should you get a separate Wi-Fi router or you just use the um, combined router modem that your ISP provides you. Um, this was asked um, by a uh, friend of mine. Um, before he asked me hey John um, is it is it any better to get a um, or should I say is there any advantages that you can get if you're gonna buy a separate Wi-Fi router um, instead of using the the built-in Wi-Fi that your ISP's modem that, that they provided to you so Basically, most ISP right now provides their customer a combined device. Basically, it's a modem. It could be a modem router, and it has a Wi-Fi capability, and that's good. Basically, you don't have to buy a separate Wi-Fi router. Um, but in my opinion, in my personal opinion, I would highly recommend everyone, um, from advanced uh, uh, advanced user to the average Joe's, to get a separate Wi-Fi router okay so right now let's compare the both um a um combined um dsl modem whether uh, or a cable or any modem that your isp provides you um normally nowadays it has a wi-fi capability um you could use it yeah um since that you don't have to buy a separate wi-fi router but um the only advantage is well you're only gonna use one device instead of two that's basically it now the disadvantage with um built-in wi-fi from the modem that your isp provides you is the speed um in my past like um experience couple of years experience using um the is um a lot of isp modems that has a wi-fi normally you would get like um, 65 to 72 mbps so usually you'll get like 6.5 or 7.2 uh, mbps uh, throughput speed so that's basically the, uh, the capability that that device can provide you well um, if you're like users and in the um, um, like two to three users that's good or three to four but like I said before uh, you, I always highly recommend everyone to get a uh, separate Wi-Fi router. Why is that? First, the throughput speed. The slowest that you could get today um, is 150 M Mbps, and that's basically twice the speed that no that most um, Wi-Fi capable um, uh, modem that your ISP provides you, uh, basically, and that's basically the basic you could actually get 300 mbps 450 um the dual band you can get um 600 and the new standard right now which is 802.11 ac it's a gig gigabit wi-fi so on your 2.4 gigahertz you could get um a maximum of 600 and on the 5 gigahertz you could get like a 1.3 gigahertz um uh, per second speed so yeah, that's way, way, way better than your um, built-in Wi-Fi from your ISP. Um, another advantage is a feature called uh, QoS. So it stands for quality of service. What this does is it lets you manage your um, connection. Let's say a friend of you um, is currently right now helping your um, assignment from your house in the and he or, she, uh, he or she is using your internet but li little that you know that you, he or she is also downloading um, files which would um, 
slow you down while you're using QoS well, what this does is it lets you manage the connection let's say you're not able to browse right now because of your friends um, downloading a lot of files you can use the QoS to, um, to basically uh, limit the connection that your friend is using let's say you're just gonna limit like 30 percent of the total 100 percent of your connection so in that way you'll be able to browse the internet while at the same time letting your friends um, download uh, the, the files that he or she is downloading if you're a tweaker one uh, one advantage of a um, separate Wi-Fi router is custom router firmware what this does it gives your um, Wi-Fi router additional capability like you could you'll be able to um, convert your normal um, Wi-Fi router to a, a wireless repeater or a wireless client another thing or should I say another advantage is gigabit speed on the wire normal um, ISP modems will only get you 100 Mbps so uh, in a um, real uh, real life scenario you could only get 10 Mbps throughput speed if you're like gonna copy one file from a computer to another using an Ethernet cable or a wired connection. On a, uh, a 1 gigabits per second capable router, uh, you, uh, you could get a throughput speed of 100 Mbps, which is way, way faster uh, uh, on copying files. Um, another good thing, if you're a media junkie, uh, there uh, there are Wi-Fi routers that has a USB um, port at the back, which you can connect your port portable hard drive or your your USB dongle, which let's say contains music, um, movies that you could stream, um, let's say using your uh, smart TV or your laptop without connecting through um, wired, and you could get like uh, you, uh, you could access that uh, wirelessly. Uh, let's say without uh, a needy uh, a need of a computer to um, stream your data that's basically there's a lot of advantage I can't name them all um, so sorry um, but let me tell you there, there is a lot um, let's see uh, well uh, I could say most Wi-Fi router does have a let's say in in, in a wireless um, uh, standpoint. Most Wi-Fi router has a uh, detachable antenna. If you would like to like um, increase the Wi-Fi range, you could replace that with a high gain antenna. While uh, most ISP modem uh, only has a built-in Wi-Fi. So that's well, that's basically it. Um, let's see what we can find. I'm so sorry guys. I'm using my computer right now to find what other advantages here um, Since that this is not scripted uh, Okay I think in my opinion, that's basically it um, All in all getting a separate Wi-Fi router will basically um, will give you a better connection will let you a lot of users instead of a few using the uh, built-in um, Wi-Fi from your modem that's well, basically it um, well anyway guys I'm hope that this video was able to help you out and um, thank you so much for watching my video if you like if you like my video you could uh, hit the like button and you can subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll promise you guys I'll update you with new topics alright so for now this is my um, topic for um, getting a uh, separate Wi-Fi router versus using the uh, wireless capable modem router that your ISP provides you. Again, this is John, guys, um, signing off, and thank you so much for watching my video. Bye.